It's a very important part of any TV is the sound system and if it's an OLED plus TV, it means it's got a Bowers and Wilkins sound system attached to it in some way. I'm joined by Tom from the company. Tom, tell us a little bit more about the OLED 908 and of course your partnership with Philips. Sure, yeah. The, the OLED 908 is the latest in a really successful range of TVs featuring sound by Bowers and Wilkins that we've done in partnership with, with Philips TV. Uh, and it's the, we've successfully done over 12 TVs with Philips. It's the latest in that series. Um, and it really brings together the uh, culmination of the last five or so years of partnership, all the things we've learned about each other in that time. So this is the latest and greatest iteration of that thinking, really. And I, I guess what people will notice there, if they've been following the TVs, is that the 908 looks very much like the very first TV that Bowers did with Philips, which was the 903. Very yeah. similar in terms of design, having that sound bar built into the panel. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how um, we, we saw that the 903 was a really popular form factor. I think it sees the return of this type of design to the TVs that we're producing in the range. But it's also proof that we can still engineer really great sound quality in, into a set that looks also very good and commensurate with a modern home interior. So we're at Abbey Road, the home, some people would say, of the sound. We're in Studio 2 where the Beatles did the vast majority of their things. I know there's a very important control room upstairs, so maybe we can move up there and you can tell us a little bit more about the whole Bowers and Wilkins experience. <music> So we're in the control room of uh, Studio 2 at Abbey Road Studios. It's a really special place and it's a really important place from a Bowers and Wilkins perspective. So Bowers and Wilkins loudspeakers have been used in Abbey Road Studios since 1980. In fact, the first pair were hand delivered by John Bowers himself. Um, and the reason that that's been so successful over the years is because 800 series, as it has evolved, has always represented the very pinnacle of what Bowers and Wilkins can achieve. And so it's quite fitting that that, that same um, performance of loudspeaker is what the engineers at Abbey Road Studios so favour, and hence they've been here ever since those, those early years. And how does that then relate to what we've been talking about with, with the 908? Is, it, is there such a thing as trickle down? It's a, it's a ground up approach, so where we can use the same engineering principles that we would take from 800 series and the other products in the, in, the, in, the, in the range, we seek to use those same approaches, those same technologies, so where we can isolate drive units um, to improve clarity, for example, we do that. Placement of those transducers is super important, we spend a lot of time thinking about that as we do in our other product categories. All these things add up to create a, a kind of a, a recognisable Bowers and Wilkins approach and hopefully a recognisable Bowers and Wilkins sound. The key thing is that, as is the case with every Bowers and Wilkins product, uh, it's designed, engineered and, and manufactured in-house, which gives us great control over the, the quality and the performance. Uh, in the case of this specific set, it's a uh, LCR 3.1 configuration with dedicated uh, rigid enclosures featuring titanium tweeters, um, which are mirrored from a central position, but also then mirrored left and right. Uh, and on the, re on the reverse of the TV is a dedicated subwoofer. I think some people, maybe cynical out there, are gonna say, well, how can uh, a speaker that costs 42 and a half thousand pounds a pair uh, sound anywhere close to a TV that, that costs a fraction of that cost and it's mm -hmm. a tiny little sound bar? What would you say to those people who are perhaps a little bit dismissive about the, the whole thing when it comes to sound? Yeah, it's a really good question. It's a very fair question. What I would say is, yeah, clearly there's a big difference between the associated um, cost of componentry on our flagship 800 series as there might be on, um, on a TV and the components within that TV. However, what makes it um, compelling and what delivers, I think, on the promise that, we, that we're really setting out here is the approach to developing that system and the, the, the engineering expertise and experience we have in optimising for every single square inch of that product. So what I think these new TVs represent, as have all the previous ones we've done with Philips TV, is the very finest sounding TVs that you can buy to go along with what is already a fantastic picture quality. So for those people wanting a, a system that is um, simple uh, and one box, one remote control, 
this I think is, is the perfect product for them.